So this is the first part. I'm gonna leave here one line and we're gonna guess why, all right? One line and it's a very important line to continue solving this problem, but for now, I don't wanna uh, uh, say it because you're gonna guys deduce what should be this line. Now the second part is when S is between what? Between 100 and 400, all right? In this case, what is V? V is equal to 0.2 S. So I'm going to repeat now the integration. So the integration of dt will be equal to the integration of ds over V, which is 0.2 S. Now what are the boundaries of ds? What is the lower boundary here? S is between one and what? S is between 100 and 400. So what will be this lower boundary? It's of 100. And the upper boundary, I'm going to keep it as to find the general equation. What about dt? What are the boundaries here, guys? What about dt? What about the boundaries? What is t? when s is equal to 100. What is t when s is equal to 100? I need to find it. Perfect Erdogan, perfect Abbas, perfect Batut, perfect Rahaf. So I, I need to find it, guys. And that's why I skipped the slide. So what will be the slide, guys? It is to find t when s is equal to 100, which is the boundary here. So when S is equal to 100, I know that T is radical S, and this means that T is equal to 10. All right? So that's, guys, that's why I'm going to replace this T by 10. Who can tell me, guys? So this means, guys, that T minus 10 is equal to this integration. And what is the integration? of radical ds over 0.2s. I'm going to get rid of 1 over 0.2, and this will be 5, all right? Five, 1 over 0.2 is 5. What is the integration of ds over s? It's also a well-known integration. ds over s, dx over x. It is the lin. Perfect, perfect, guys. So this is the lin. And I know, guys, that I should do this lin between s and 100. So lin s minus lin 100 will be lin of s over 100, right, from the rules of lin. So let's continue. And this means, guys, that t minus 10 is equal to lin, sorry, it's equal to 5 lin s over 100. Now, the question is to construct S versus T. So I'm going to do some uh, 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 equations here or some uh, procedure here to find S versus T. What do you think, guys, I should do? I should make the exponential of this to part 5. So it is 3 over 2 minus 2 is equal to min S over 100. And then if I do the exponential, all right, t over 5, not t over 2, you're right. So if I do the exponential, then this will be e, e5, t over 5 minus 2 is equal to s over 100. And this means that s, s is equal to 100 times e t5 t over 5 over e2. Now, if I can find this one here. So I did find this one using MATLAB in the previous section. This will be 13.53, so 13.53 e t over 5. 
So this is the equation of S versus T. Now I can draw S versus T for both parts. In the first, in the first part, guys, in the first part, this is T and this is S. In the first part, T was between zero and what? And ten. All right. So yeah. So T was between zero and ten. And in this case, so this is ten, let's say. And in this case, guys, I have the T is equal to what? T is equal to, uh, I have that S is equal to T squared, all right? So I'm going to plot S as T squared. So at 10, I have a 100. Okay. And then between 10 and what? Between 10 and what, guys? S is between 100 and 400. Between 10 and what, guys? I should find it. Perfect, Abbas. All right? So I should find it. Okay? So between 10 and what? S is between 100. So if S is equal to 400, what will be T? So what will be T? I can, guys, directly apply this equation, all right? This equation is much easier to apply because in this equation, I have T is equal to 5 lin uh, 400 over 100 plus 10. So it is 5 lin 4 plus 10, which is here. 5 lin 4 plus 10 is 16.93, all right? So T is equal to 16.93 or 17. So this T here is equal to 16.9 and then in this case the profile is exponential okay right. you have any question guys do you have any question so guys using dt is equal to ds over v and after doing the integration i can find the equations and don't forget guys to find T for each boundary condition in order to draw this curve. Am I done yet? No, I need to also draw A, S. So I know V versus S. Now I need to draw A versus S. There is no time here. So I should use what equation, guys? So there is no time here. What equation should I use? The independent equation of time, which is A D S is equal to S V D V. So if A D S is equal to V D V, this will give me what? This will give me that A that I need to draw versus S is equal to V times D V over D S. So guys, likewise, I have to divide it into two parts. The first part is when S is between zero. And 100, and in this case, A is equal to 2 radical S. And what is the integration of 2 radical S versus S? What is the integration of 2 radical S versus S? It is 2 over 2 radical S, so it is 1 over radical S. And in this case, A is equal to the constant number, which is 2, right? Now, in the second part, S is between 100 and 400. I'm going to do the same. And in this case, A is equal to V, and V here is equal to 0.2S. This is a straight line times the integration of V versus S, which is 0.2, because this is a straight line. And in this case, A is equal to 0.04S. Now, here, guys, I have a certain discontinuity, because if you plug 100 in S, so if S is equal to 100 in the second part, then A will be equal to what? To 4, right? While in the first part, A is equal to, to 2. Okay, guys? All right? 
So I have a certain discontinuity at S is equal to 100. And then when S is equal to 400, A will be equal to 16. So I can now draw A versus S. All right. So let's say this is A and this is S. So this is S0, this is S100. All right. I'm going to repeat, guys. I'm I should find A. Okay? So in order to find A, A is equal to V dv over ds. When S is between 0 and 100, A is equal to <coughs> 2 radical S, which is V, times 1 over radical S. So if you sub, uh, simplify by radical S, you're going to find that A is equal to 2. Now, in the second portion of this problem, a is equal to 0 0.2, uh, v is equal to 0.2s. So dv over ds will be 0.2. So a will be a straight line at 0.04s. All right? Now, at the boundaries, it seems that there is a discontinuity because when s is equal to 100 minus, a will be equal to 2. When s is equal to 100 plus, if I have s here as 100, a will be equal to 4. And when S is equal to 100, of course, A is equal to 6. So there is a discontinuity only at S is equal to 100. So first of all, I know that A is equal to 2. So it is constant and it is equal to 2. This is A. And then between 100 and 400, A is a straight line. All right? And it starts from 4. <clears throat> going to 16. So, of course, guys, uh, uh, I, I didn't respect uh, the scale here too much. So, you can respect it, guys. You can draw it on scale or on almost a, a, a logical scale. All right? So, that's it. Do you have any questions so far? Do you have any questions so far, guys? Everything is clear. All right, let's continue.